Let's open the cold roll. I'm not. I probably won't use the whole can. Wow. Cooking up. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Um, this morning I actually managed to buy a, a cane of Kong Rou steel pork slices. Hong Sao uh, Kou Rou, sorry. Hong Sao Kou Rou. So I'm going to make a Hong Sao Kou Rou stir fry bihun. So it's very easy. Just prepare some bihun, some veggie, and one cane of uh, Kou Rou here. Uh, I don't know how much is your Kolo at near your place, but Appa bought this at 16, ring, 16 ringgit, 60 cent ringgit Malaysia. Nowadays, cane food also not cheap. <laughs> so I don't eat cane food very often, once in a blue moon. It's perfectly fine and actually, um, I feel the flavor is really nice. Um, so we will need some uh, bihun, of course. Let me show you. I have three pieces of A1 Bihun. Some people like to ask me what brand I like to use. I like to use A1. Three pieces of A, um, Bihun here. And um, some veggie, some cabbage. Cut it into slices so that it's easier to cook later. Let's open the cold roll. I'm not sure. I probably won't use the whole can. Wow. Uh, very oily. I, will, I won't use the whole can, I think. So I'll take it out and pour it into a bowl. Alright, so I pour out the can here. I have the meat on one side and the sauce here. So later I'm going to uh, further dilute this sauce a little bit um, to prepare for the bihun. It's quite a lot of sauce here. Probably I don't need to dilute too much. So first thing we are, we need to prep the bihun. Some of you may have seen Appa doing this before. Prepare a pot of boiling water. Make sure it is boiling. Then we put in your bihun. I decided to cook four pieces instead of three. And then we are going to uh, cook your bihun under the boiling water for exactly 60 seconds. Nothing more, nothing less. So this process will actually make your uh, cook your bihun until it is like 70 or 80 percent cooked. And there is another step right after this, which will further make it cook even uh, more, right? So that's the thing I like about uh, electrical hub, electric hub, sorry, electric hub because it has a timer. Almost, almost 60 seconds here. Get ready a pot at the side. All right, now it says 60 seconds. Put this over to the pot aside. Quickly show you. All right, so the Bihun is inside this pot here and I'm going to cover it with a lid. Now, what is this? Uh, it is going to continue cooking the bihun using the residual heat inside. Yeah. So while you are uh, allowing the bihun to continue cook with the residual heat aside, we can now prepare the sauce. Actually very simple. Uh, the, the sauce is already there. This is the sauce, which is uh, coming together with the cane. I will probably di uh, dilute it a little bit here. And I will put in the veggie. As well as uh, Some of the two pieces, right? 
two pieces of the meat here. I'm going to break it. So we're going to cook this until it is um, the way when you start seeing the veggies started to soften. Uh, that's where we can do the next move. It won't take very long. So while waiting for the veggie, this is our bihun here. All right, take a scissor. Give it few cuts so that later it is actually easier for you to stir fry. Now basically, uh, you can, this is actually, these steps, uh, all these steps that uh, you cook 60 seconds and then put it, put it inside a pot. All this uh, process is going to make your bihun very, very spongy. All right? And it won't break so easily, even though I manually cut it into uh, shorter pieces just now. Remember just now I diluted with a little bit of uh, water, so I'm going to add in a little bit of salt as well. This is actually about one minute only, the veggie already started to be softened. This is the time where we can actually add in the spongy bihun. So the bihun is already spongy before I, we add it in. And take note, I did not soak my bihun, yeah? I did not soak my bihun. I only cook it under uh, boiling water for 60 seconds, straight away, when it's dry. Of course, if you prefer darker color, you can actually add in some uh, dark soya sauce, right? So this, the bihun right now is already like 80 to 90% cooked. All you need to do right now is uh, just to mix, make sure your bihun is nicely mixed with the sauce, evenly mixed with the sauce, that's all. And soak out all the nice flavor. See, it's almost done. That's how simple it is. <coughs> Kolo mi fen is all about Kolo and mi fen putting together. And you don't want to uh, make too much broth. If it's too much broth, then your stir fry bihun will become mushy. You need to control the uh, the broth level also. Yeah, the sauce. It cannot be too watery. If you're not sure, put lesser rather than over. That's what I used to do. Saltiness also, go lesser rather than over. I always do less salty rather than more salty because if it's not salty enough, you can still add your own saltiness to uh, when you are eating, right? Right? It's basically done. But when I serve, I'll be putting in some uh, the whole bunch, the whole cubes of the uh, pork belly on top of it. It's, it's basically done. See, all the sauce has already been nicely absorbed by the bihun itself. And uh, take note, I'm actually using a non-stick wok today. Why? Because um, bihun can get stick to your wok very easily. So if you're using a non-stick, then you get to preserve like at least 95 or 98% of the bihun that you put in. If you use a, a wok that will stick, you probably will lose out at least about 20% of it. Okay, so the bihun is basically ready and it doesn't break into small, small pieces. Why? Because after I add it in, I only stir, I only stir fry for a, uh, a little bit of time. You don't stir fry for too long. The moment when you stir fry for too long, that's where the bihun will start to break. Basically, it's done. I'm just going to give it a few dashes of white pepper. That's it. Counting. So here is my kolo bihun. If you order this dish outside, usually uh, they will. Add, it is actually darker. They will add some dark soya sauce. But my wife doesn't like uh, anything too dark, so <laughs> I did not add the dark soya sauce. Okay, so I'm putting two pieces of the beautiful kolo on top so that you know what you are eating. You are eating kolo mi fen.
All right, that's how simple it is. Uh, if you like, you can also add in some uh, dry shrimp, but you may want to uh, stir, uh, saute your dry shrimp a little bit. So um, if you like my video, should uh, do add my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook page to click like and follow button. Follow up on the Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you very much. Bye-bye.